when did allergy season start here in California? About four weeks ago, we began having the early trees, and since we've had no rain in uh, February, the pollen count came up a lot quicker than it usually does. Usually we have rain in February, knocks the pollen down, and people are asymptomatic for periods of time, but this year it's just been a pretty much a, a blast for the last five weeks. Okay. Um, it's, and so when does flu season typically end, and is it still ongoing? It is ongoing. It is winding down now. It usually stops around uh, the first part of April. Peak flu season is usually the second or third week of February every year. Okay. Um, can you explain, um, I'm going to have you explain, allergy symptoms, cold flu symptoms, and then what you know of coronavirus symptoms. So can you explain allergy, what allergy symptoms are? Well, allergy symptoms are usually associated with itching, eyes, watery eyes, sneezing, itchy nose, cough, wheezing, and those are usually not associated with fever, although hay fever is a systemic disease, and when people get industrial levels of pollen exposure, they can have systemic symptoms such as fever too, but that is usually a minor part of the equation. On the contrary, viral infections are generally for example, influenza usually starts with a very high fever, shaking chills sometimes, sore throat, and then can progress over several days to um, lower airway symptoms. A uh, antiviral agent, if used in the first 48 hours, can help the duration of the illness but will not cure it. Coronavirus, which I've never recognized myself, but reading the CDC website, uh, is a more indolent problem, not associated with high fever, uh, upper airway symptoms first, and then later, five, seven, ten days later, lower airway symptoms can occur, much later than with influenza A or B. So, again, testing is the only way to really find out if one has coronavirus, and uh, that's available to be done if it's needed. Differentiating between a viral infection and allergy can be difficult. We know there's a higher instance of, of, of viral infections in February and March, and so most patients will have uh, a, a viral infection rather than pure allergy at that time of the year. Fast forward to April and May, where allergy is much more commonly uh, encountered, uh, viral infections are less often encountered at that time then the, uh, the uh, numbers tilt toward allergy and away from infection. Again, when you're having allergy, you have itching as part of that. It's just a similar part of an allergic reaction, and that usually does not happen with a viral infection. In February and March, about half the time, patients are having primarily a viral illness and not an allergic problem.